Hey Longwood, this is Chelsea with Remax Innovation. It's that time of the month for the monthly real estate market report update. So we're gonna be going over all past sales for Longwood in January. So let's get started. to get started with the single family homes we had in january a total of 57 single family homes sold in longwood um, for the square footage of zero to a thousand there were actually three homes sold for the thousand and one to fifteen hundred square foot we had five homes sold for the fifteen and one to two thousand square foot we had 14 homes sold for the two thousand one to twenty five hundred square foot we had 13 homes sold for the 2501 to 3000 square foot, we had 10 homes sold. For the 3001 to 3500 square foot, we had four homes sold. For the 3501 to 4000 square foot, was only one home. For the 4001 to 4500 square foot, we had three homes sold. And for the 4501 plus square foot, there were four total homes sold. So what we're going to do is we're gonna move over to the graph where we can see the listing price versus the sales price. Um, so for the zero to a thousand square foot, the average listed price was about 189,000 and the average sold price is about 186,000. Then for the thousand and one to 1500 square foot, the average listed price was 238,000 and the average sold price was 239,000. Then we go to the 15 and one to 2000 square foot. The average listed price is 319,000 and the average sold price is 311,000. Then we go to 2001 to 2,500 square foot. The average listed price is 399, almost 400,000. And the average sold price is 385,000. Then we go to the 2,501 to 3,000 square foot. The average listed price is about 488,000 and the average sold price is 410,000. Then we go to the 3,001 to 3,500 square foot. The average listed price is 671,000 and the average sold price is 658,000. And the 3,501 to 4,000 square foot, the average listed price is 638,000 and the average sold price is 595,000. And then the 4,001 to 4,500 square foot, the average listed price is 700, 778,000 and the average sold price is 768,000. And then finally, um, the 45 and one square foot and up, um, the average listed price is 968,000 and the average sold price is 910,000. So you see right here, um, we do have some where they're very close in the beginning when we get to the smaller square footage. And then we get to the larger square footage where it's about the 2,500 and up, that's when we see the a little bit of a larger gap between the listed and, and the sold price. So what we're going to do is move to the average days on market. So for the properties that are zero to 1,000 square foot, average day on market is about 26 days. So um, that's fairly good. Um, about 26, 27, um, we did have three properties, so we don't have too many properties um, to pull from for those days. For the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, it was an average of three, almost four days. So that was pretty good, especially for um, those numbers. Um, for the 1,501 to 2,000 square foot, the average days on market is about 37 days. Now, we did have a couple properties out of those um, that did take a little bit of a higher sales so there was one that sold for 129 days, one for 233, and then um, we had two um, that were medium, one's about 45, and the other's 38, and then another one at 22. The rest of those properties that we had, um, remember we had about 14 sales, so the rest of them were under 10 days, so that's pretty good. And then the 2001 to 2500 square foot, average days on market is about 29 days. Um, so we did have some heavy hitters on those um, for those properties since we did have about 13. One of them did take about 161 days to sell another one um, or to be off the market. 
another one was 86, and then there's a 43. Otherwise, the dates were pretty good under um, 20 days and under 10 days. Then the 25 and 1 to 3,000 square foot was about 29, almost 30 days as well. Um, we were pretty consistent about having these days were either small or they're in the 70s to 80 range. For the 3,001 to 3,500 square foot, it did take about 66 days to be off the market. Um, we did only have four properties. So one was 177 and then one was 64 days, one was 23 and then one was one. So for the 35 and one to 4,000 square foot, we only did have one property and that property was off the market 139 days. Now this is very good um, for the 4,001 to 4,500 square foot. They were, um, average days of market was four days, so that's amazing um, for those three properties and that they were also um, close to the asking price as well. Then we had the 4501 plus square footage. We did have four properties. The average day on market was about 82 days. And then we are going to be moving on to the condominiums. Okay, so we had a total of eight condominiums that were sold in January. Of those eight, three of them were in the zero to a thousand square foot, four of them were in the thousand and one to fifteen hundred square foot, and one was in the fifteen and one to two thousand square foot range. We did not have any larger condominiums. So when we move over to the graph for the listing um, price first, the actual sales price, for the zero to a thousand square foot, they were listed about eighty nine thousand and sold for about eighty seven thousand. So that's fairly good. They were very close to the actual listing price. Um, for the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, um, they were listed for about 172,000 and sold for about 163,000. So that was very good as well. Um, fairly close. Then for the 1,501 to 2,000 square foot range, um, that one condominium was listed for 210,000 and sold for 180,000. So when we move over to the average days on market, the zero to a thousand square foot condos, they sold an average of 38 days. And then the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot condos, they sold an average of 99 days. Um, we did only have four condos there. One was on average day of market for 195 days, one was 120, and then we had a 37 and a 44. So that's where we get that 99 from. Then for the one condo that is from 1,501 to 2,000 square foot, it took about 234 days for this condo to be off the market. Now we're going to move on to the townhomes. Okay, so we had a total of seven townhomes that were sold in January. Um, for the zero to 1,000 square foot, um, we did actually not have any townhomes that were sold. So we're just going to skip over that. But for the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, we did have two townhomes sell. For the um, 1,501 to 2,000 square foot, we did have four townhomes sell. And then for the 2,001 to 2,500 square foot, we only had one townhome sell. Now we're gonna move over to the graph for the listing for sales price. For the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot townhomes, they were listed about 209,000 and then they sold for 193,000. For the 1501 to 2000 square foot, they were listed about 318,000, and then they did sell for 294,000. For the 2001 to 2500 square foot, they were listed about 359,000 and sold for 345,000. And then when we move on to the average days on market, the 1,001 to 1,500 square foot, they did take about 66, almost 67 days to sell. We did only have two of these properties. One of them was on the market for 104 days, and then the other was on the market for 29 days. The 1,501 to 2,000 square foot, it took about 51 days um, on average for these properties to sell or to be off the market. Um, and then for the 2001 to 2500, um, it was 106 days for this property to be off the market. And this concludes the Longwood Real Estate Market Report update. If you guys have any comments, questions, please make sure to comment below or feel free to message me direct. If you have any other questions about other cities in Seminole County or just Seminole County in whole, please make sure to like and subscribe my YouTube channel as I do have other videos that come out as well. Thank you guys for watching and I hope everyone has a great rest of their day and week.